Novi Sviet, two kilometers down the royal road from the castle and palace. A great lively walking street with shopping and restaurants. Calm by day and then an absolute party at night. This street will be packed with people and all restaurants will be near full capacity. A must visit when in Warsaw. Market Square, a large gathering space located in the heart of the old town of Warsaw. This area has seen quite a bit of history and if only these walls could talk. The rebuilding of the square after World War II was done to the exact detail of how it originally stood. You'll find in the center of the square the infamous mermaid statue. The Royal Castle, completely demolished during the war, it was rebuilt after with some hoped preservations in mind. When the capital was moved from Krakow to Warsaw, this castle became the home and seat of the government. Today, it boasts an astounding collection of art and is the 15th most visited museum in the world. Sigismund's Column, built in honor of the man who moved the capital from Krakow to Warsaw, this 22 meter monument was hit with an artillery shell during World War II. Nonetheless, the top piece of Sigismund survived and he was returned to a new perch in 1949. The statue is cool, but the real attraction is the area around. The Presidential Palace, first constructed in 1643 with the current building being completed in 1818. The palace consists of a four-story main body and two lower side wings. Visiting the palace is possible by pre-appointment and it is free of charge. Warsaw Uprising Museum. On August 1st, 1944, an underground Polish resistance engaged against Germany to liberate Warsaw. This museum is here to commemorate and honor the residents of Warsaw who fought and died fighting for an independent Polish state. Hours vary by day, but generally it is 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. weekdays and 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. weekends. The museum is closed on Tuesdays. Mokotow Field or Mokotowski Field, a beautiful large park just outside the city center. Come here, especially in the summer, if you want to see how the locals live. On holidays, you'll find friends gathered in the park, grilling food and congregating. This park also has great bike trails and is packed with vendors selling things like snacks and ice cream. Saxon Garden. All right, I am on my park kick, I know. Again, another beautiful park, this one very close to the old town. A 10 minute walk from the castle and presidential palace. The reason why I included this on the list is because it is the oldest public park in the city. This park was first opened to the public in 1727.